Tony Stewart's team has been disqualified from the event. In a post-run inspection yesterday, the NHRA Tech Department found an infraction. There was a purchased part on the car that was out of NHRA's tolerance, causing Tony Stewart to be disqualified. Now, that is a team issue. It's not like Tony did anything wrong. For the McPhillips family, racing team, that car specifically had a part that was outside of tolerance for the NHRA Tech Department after last night's run, resulting in the car being disqualified from the event. So Tony Stewart is out of this event as far as a driver goes. He is no longer on the ladder, and that is why we have 15 cars. It's just updated and told that this race will count towards one of his 10 events for the year. He will not be forced to claim it. So he loses an opportunity to gain points, also loses an opportunity to prevent Julian Atas from gaining points and loses that race. He will not be forced to actually take the zero, but he will be given zero points for this event. So that's a tough break for Tony Stewart. In his quest for his first championship, nothing he could do. Meanwhile, Tom Fox and Brad McBride are ready to go. Tom Fox, Cash to Keys, Andy Mack team. The mortgage folks out of New Jersey. And Brad McBride, this is home race, Granite Falls, North Carolina native. Schaefer's Oil and Lube, Roman Road Auto Restoration, United Engine Machine. And he is off the line first but in trouble. Cylinders out on both sides as Tom Fox helps the supercharge brigade go two. For two, a 5.34.9, 2.66. That car actually slows down from qualifying, but for Tom Fox, it is enough. Tom Fox will head to round number two.